What is up everyone? A short video here to share with all of you on my choice of surge protector. I'm uploading this for my subscribers to share with you what brand I personally use to protect my electronic equipment. I've always used the APC by Schneider brand and these have always been very reliable for me and of good quality. So what you're looking at, I'm going to go over this real quick. We're going to plug it in so you can see these lights and I just want to show you what it looks like and just kind of talk about some of the features. But this particular one I chose because of the higher joule rating, 4,320 joules. And this is the P10U2 model. And if I go over here, take a look at these outlets, there's 10 of them. That is what the 10 stands for in the P10U2. So if you need more than that, more outlets, you would choose the P12U2 model. Now, each one of these is $35, so 35 bucks. So I bought two of them, that's about $70 for right now at the time of this video. If you're gonna go with the P12 model for the 12 outlets, it's probably gonna be like about 50 bucks. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. And also I apologize for the little bit of echoing. I'm using an iPhone to record this video and I'm also in a kitchen. So I'll do the best not to scream real loud at you guys. But just taking a look at the box, most surge protectors, surge arrest, always come with these lifetime warranties and these great big EPP protection amounts. This one has the six foot cord and most of, I think most of them do have a six foot cord. This one's heavy, it's a 14 gauge cord. So that's good and heavy. 10 outlets, two USB charging ports for tablets and things like that. So this has smart charging and it'll recognize devices and then it does like the maximum charging speed. So that's kind of a nice little feature there too. So that's kind of what that is on the front. And I'm just gonna flip it over so we can go over some of this other stuff real quick. Um, one thing I like kind of neat has these sliding, they're called sliding shutters. These things here, you just like slide them. If you're not using this for safety, whatever, you can just close that. And these also work good for big, if you have like a plug with, it's a big, I always had trouble with plugging those great big blocky ones in. So that's nice that these are spaced out for that. And on here, you'll notice it says grounded. And then this here says protected. There's actually two different lights. There's a light over here, a light over here. They're the same color and they illuminate green, but I'll go over that as soon as I plug it in. And then over here on this side is a little red switch. Let me see. Okay, it says reset right there and then it says off. So this has a built-in circuit breaker. So if you do find yourself in a situation where you're on like an overload here, this will this will like pop. And then what you'd want to do is like unplug everything and it's going to be in the off position. You would just click it back to where it says reset. That's just like an on and off switch. That is the main switch. There's no other switches on this thing. So on the bottom, I seen these things here, they're keyhole little wall, rear wall mounts here or something. You can mount this thing if you want to do something like that with it. But again, these have always been really good, reliable, good quality units for me, this particular brand. There's the UPC, there's the model number, serial number, all that good stuff. So real quick, I'm gonna go plug this in, but I wanna to explain to you guys the difference. I have the paper right here. The grounded side right here actually says, the LED is normally illuminated, indicating that the building wiring is grounded properly. This light will actually go out. It says here it will extinguish to indicate that the wiring fault has been detected. So that's kind of what that one does. And then you have the protected side, which that LED is normally illuminated, indicating that the search protector is on, ready to go. But if this one is not on, it says here that the surge suppression circuitry has been compromised. So these lights mean something when they are on or if they are off, there's no manual way to turn these on and off. So if you're someone who does not like having LEDs on, something lit up around, you know, on the floor, or that would bother you for watching a movie or something like that, this particular model might not be for you. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. And we'll just take a quick look at this. All you gotta do, flip the switch on, and then you get it kind of illuminating, illuminating up like that there. Let's, so again, they each mean something different. Um, they illuminate completely solid like that. So you will know if there's an issue, there's no manual way to turn them off because they're built into the feature of the unit itself. I'm gonna kill the lights in here. You'll notice it's flickering. That's actually the iPhone doing that. They're still on, as you can see, they're solid. They're still on solid when the light's out, but it does throw off some light. And I know some cable boxes do that and people don't like that. So if you're not one that likes any sort of lights like that, LED lights on something like that, you might wanna choose another unit. They have a ton of different units that you could choose from. They have ups versions, which are battery backups, which are really awesome. So go look this up on um, Amazon. That's where I purchased these from, Amazon. And research that, that company. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. I really like these. So $35 a piece. I'm gonna put a link down in the description if any of you are interested. Um, this is just a personal video I'm doing. Uh, if you click that link and you purchase one of these, I might earn a little commission from Amazon. That's how that program works. And that's all that is. But this is not like a sponsored video or anything like that. I actually use these and I really like these particular surge protectors. So I believe that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted, there's really not much to, you know, going over unpacking um, a surge protector except hearing it from someone who has used them for quite a long time. And these are just, I consider this kind of like basic protection too. They do have, you go on and look at this company, you'll see they have a ton of other types of surge protectors. But if you do end up buying any of them, make sure, try to have your joules at least a thousand, a thousand joules or more, at least that much. So, all right guys. That's pretty much all I had for you for a little short video here to share with you. So if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If it was a little bit helpful, leave a comment, whatever. Um, anything else I missed or you have questions, drop a comment. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.